Hey, what's up, questers? 11 Table Tennis is an awesome and extremely fun game on the Quest, but I've got something today that's gonna make it a thousand times better. And that is a 3D printed custom paddle for the Oculus Quest touch controller. This paddle design is actually two designs put together by Ty at Tyco Tech, and it works fabulously. It's screwless, and it's perfectly balanced and weighted just like a real ping pong paddle. I've got it right here, as you can see, it's really solid, it's not going anywhere, and it straps in with Velcro. You just loosen up the Velcro, slide the controller into place, and then strap it down with the two Velcro straps. It's super simple and super easy, and it makes 11 Table Tennis extremely immersive. Let's jump over into 11 Table Tennis, and I'll show you how to set it up and how well it works. All right, so here we are in 11 Table Tennis, and what I want to do really quickly is just show you some gameplay using the paddle, so you can kind of see how well it works. You've got it right here. Uh, it's weighted really well, so it feels like you're holding an actual paddle. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how to use the custom settings to really set it up so it works good. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit the ball back and forth a little bit right here, just to kind of show you a little bit of gameplay using it. If you watched my gameplay video before, you know that I did not do a good job. <laughs> that was a little too hard, uh, because uh, it was just having a hard time really getting things situated. And I've gotten better since then, but now I'm trying to talk and do it at the same time. Uh, but with the paddle, it just made a massive difference. I wasn't able to come close to beating a medium opponent before, and now I can actually really consistently beat them. Now I'm working on the hard level to try to beat the hard level. So you see I just backhanded that right there. Uh, what this paddle does is it really allows you to, that was too hard, but allows you to really uh, get a feel for a real paddle. So when I was doing it before, uh, sometimes I would kind of hit it like that, but it didn't feel right holding the controller because you just kind of felt you had to shuffle over uh, and then hit it like this. But when you've got an actual paddle in your hand, it's very easy to just naturally swing it if you've ever played table tennis before. Uh, I'm gonna actually gonna adjust this. One thing that I do is uh, use the strap because I don't wanna throw this into something. But one thing I do recommend is not tightening it down all the way, and I'll show you why. Because if you tighten it down all the way, it actually restricts the amount of uh, movement you have. So I just loosen it up and put it on there. But I do tighten it a little bit because it will fall off and get a little bit annoying. Uh, so it definitely works way better. The weight of it is a lot better. The feeling of playing table tennis is so much better with one of these things. I mean, it's unbelievably realistic. I thought the game was realistic before, but I've been playing this daily uh, now. Uh, I was playing pretty close to daily before, but now I'm definitely playing daily. Ah, got a point there. Uh, and with this paddle, it makes a massive, massive difference. So let's go ahead and I will show you how to set it up. So to set it up, you're gonna go right into settings. You're gonna click the settings button, then you're gonna go to paddle settings. And what you wanna do is, see I've got a custom paddle setting right there. Uh, this, this is, I'll show you right now, this is the VR adapter setting. You can watch, see it drops down somewhat there and then it goes up when I use the paddle setting. You can use this, uh, but the handle seems to drop, it feels like it drops lower, and the uh, top of the paddle isn't high enough for what the actual paddle would normally be. So I've got this set up as paddle, and uh, you can see there, it's pretty well balanced where it is, uh, and you can actually customize that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to custom, all you gotta do is hit edit preset, and then what does, well yeah, you gotta click down paddle position. This is for the paddle surface. There's tons of different things you can do for the paddle surface too. Uh, but to set the paddle setting, uh, you're gonna go to custom settings. You're gonna go to the paddle button right here. And you're gonna hold down this grip button and it'll allow you to move over. So normally it sits like this. That's the way it's gonna look like when you are approximately like that. And what you wanna do to set it up, you're gonna hold down this grip button and you try to set it up to match this. What I like to do is start with that and then kind of go from there. I actually kind of peek underneath of my uh, underneath of my visor, the, the headset, to really get kind of a better feel for where exactly it lines up. That's pretty close there already. Uh, let me see here, that's good there. A um, little higher there, something like that maybe. That's pretty close. It doesn't take much to really do it, but by holding that button, it allows you to really move it around, and it'll tell you where you are on your X, Y, and Z rotation on how you've set it up. And then to save it, all you gotta do is hit Create Preset, you name the preset and hit the Save button, so we could just name it, we'll just name it BMF. Oops, ah, oh, whatever, B question mark F, sure, what the heck. Uh, and then you got the BMF one right here, uh, so you can hit that button um, and uh, use that one right there. That's our custom setting. That's my paddle setting. It's over a little bit more. Uh, I took more time to actually set it up 
but this one is the other custom set. You can delete it, you can add ones to it, you can edit it if you need to, uh, but that's really simple how you set it up. And then you just jump into a match, you just go to single player, and we'll start a game, and you're all ready to go. And like I said, you can adjust the settings, uh, but this makes this right out of the box so immediately better, amazingly better, that it is ridiculous. Like the weight is more realistic <laughs> missed that one entirely the uh the way that you hit the ball is so much more realistic like you'll uh i'm just concentrating on this ball right now you'll be surprised i was surprised at how much better this feels than using the touch controller it's just absolutely amazing so there it is. There is the table tennis paddle that works awesome with 11 table tennis. If you want to grab one of these suckers, they are $20 plus shipping or $25 with shipping inside of the US. That does include the printing and the Velcro as well. So if you want to grab one of those, there's going to be a store set up. Ty does not quite have a store set up yet. So email me matt at bmfvr.com and I will forward your email over to him if you're interested in grabbing one. If you want to get the most out of your quest, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. Plus, you can check out even more of my videos right there. Thank you so much for watching and happy questing.